OK, now we want to add a circular roof over the well. So there are a couple issues with this, which I'm going to show you. So first of all, let's just do a typical roof by footprint. Um, I've created a basic roof construction here um, with a, just a slate top to it. And that's fairly straightforward. OK, so we've got a base level base from offset. I want my base level at level 0 with 2250 because I've sort of measured that out already. You can obviously set yours to what suits your project. Let's just do a circle. Find the center point in here and it should come up. Oops, right, let's try that again. I think I've jumped to the wrong spot. Should show a little circle. There it is. Okay. And then come out the correct distance. I'm going to do 1600. All right. And let's do the pitch of your roof as well. Um, 30 degrees. I want something a bit steeper than that. I'm going to do 40. All right. And tick. Let's have a look at that in 3D. It looks awful because all the slates are the wrong way. So how do we correct this? Well, let's... Um, edit the footprint of our roof, jump back to our site plan. We're going to delete that circle because we don't want it. Now I'll show you another little option. You can use a polygon. OK, and I've got 30 sides on the polygon. Um, put a radius there. OK, so again, let's find the center by here. And that's 1600 from the center to the edges of the polygon. Let's tick. And let's have a little look what that one looks like. And we can see it still looks awful. See how jagged these are not lining up with each other? Not what we want at all. But it does give us a good starting point for what we do actually want. So I'm just going to click on it now and edit the footprint. And I'm going to delete all bar one of the sides. OK, so I'm just keeping that one. And then I want to draw lines. I do not want them to define slope. And I just want to go from the edges there to the center. Just add it. There we go. And then back out to the other end there change the slope again to 40 okay and say tick now let's look at that so we've got one segment of our roof and back to our site plan and now i'm going to array that and 30 segments because of course i had 30 when i did it a minute ago make sure you've got the radial okay you're going to place the center by there and then you've got to pick the angle so 360 divided by 30 is going to be 12 and there we go okay you'll notice now how they're lining up as they go around looks much better still not quite there though because we've got all these lines by here so what can we do about those lines well if we go to the modify tab and we click the line work command, we can now select a line style and pick invisible lines. So what I'm going to do here is you do have to double click on each one of these lines individually. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have a quicker way of doing it. Now you're double clicking because of course there are two elements of roof on each one. Um, but as you can see, the effect as we do this really makes this look much nicer. And just run around the roof doing this. And you can also do it to these areas here as well. And that will give that a much nicer appearance as well. Get rid of these unsightly lines. OK, I'll just do that. Right. I'm going to just get rid of these last few by here. 
and you can see there's quite a few left over there. I could just get rid of a few more, but you're getting the idea now. That's it. So you can see that we can now make that look a lot nicer than we had it. And just remember when you're finished to escape out of the lines command. And now we have a nice looking roof with all of the slates going in the correct direction and matching up nicely. And that looks significantly better than the standard ways of doing it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please do remember to like the videos if you enjoy them and subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. It does help the channel to grow. And thank you for watching.